This episode is brought to you by Shady Brook Farms. If you're looking for ways to make mealtime healthier in the new year, make your favorite recipes with turkey from Shady Brook Farms. Take the pressure off. Keep it simple and tasty without sacrificing flavor for nutrition. Whether you want a delicious sandwich or a post-workout protein, Shady Brook Farms turkey can do it all. Visit ShadyBrookFarms.com for recipe inspiration and to find retailers near you. Shady Brook Farms. Eat what you love. The Love Affair event is on at Whole Foods Market with deals on delicious desires through February 14th. The floral department's in full bloom, so look for savings on double dozen bunches of roses. In the meat and seafood departments, save on animal welfare certified New York strip steaks and sustainable wild-caught lobster tails to make the night sizzle. Gifts from the wellness and beauty department are always a nice touch. And you have to grab those chocolate-dipped strawberries. Make Whole Foods Market your Valentine's Day destination. This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 2611. Place is core to financial planning by Ryan Frederick of Here.Life. And I'm your host and personal finance enthusiast, Diana Merriam. And now let's get right to it as we optimize your life. Place is core to financial planning by Ryan Frederick of Here.Life. The importance of financial planning is increasing. With increasing longevity, less generous pensions, and limitations of social security, greater responsibility is falling on the individual to manage personal financial well being. And note, experts expect half of kids born today in developed countries to live to at least 100 years of age. Complexities of living longer. Don't forget about housing. But there's another factor driving the importance of financial planning, complexity. There are more what ifs that occur over the course of a longer life. There are more years for life to go sideways. What if my investment returns are below assumptions? What if high inflation is here to stay? What if my or my partner's health deteriorates? What if I lose my spouse or my marriage dissolves? What if I outlive my financial means? Housing is one of the complex issues. Housing is a leading expense throughout life. We need a roof over our heads, and between high interest rates, rising costs of energy, increasing home insurance, and so on, that roof can be pricey. On the other hand, housing is also an investment for many people. Approximately 66% of people in the U.S. own their home, with the average mortgage holder having about $185,000 in home equity. Housing is an investment whether you own your home or not. It turns out that housing may represent more of an investment in your future than you realize. Where we live and how we choose to engage where we live is a key driver in our healthy longevity. Our DNA only accounts for less than 10% of our longevity. Our lifestyle and environment are much more significant factors. Our place addresses not just our physical, psychological, and emotional needs, but also influences our sense of purpose, social connections, physical well being, and of course, our financial well being. Invariably, decisions about place involve trade offs that impact your future self. One might optimize for low housing costs, for example, and choose to live in a small dwelling in a low cost area. This approach may succeed in the minimizing housing expenses, but introduce other challenges that impact healthy longevity. Your new home may not be close to friends or be a place where making new friends is easy. In this instance, you risk social isolation and loneliness, areas of increasing concern that are known to materially impact our near and long-term health. On the other hand, one could rationally overspend on housing for a chapter in life to enhance overall well-being. For example, a person may be in a position where being active is particularly important. One may elect to move to a place such as a state like Colorado or a city like San Diego, where being active is part of the culture and the weather and geography are supportive of outdoor pursuits year round. Once an initial move is made, subsequent moves can be made within the area that are better aligned with long-term financial well-being such as moving to a less expensive apartment or a shared house with roommates. We should be particularly mindful of situations that represent poor financial investments 
that are also poor investments in our healthy longevity. One of the most common examples in this category is when empty nesters or solo agers remain in single family homes that no longer best fit their lives. In such instances, these homes can be expensive to operate and maintain, and often the equity value of their homes may not appreciate at the same pace as the broader stock market. In other words, they may not be additive to financial well being. At the same time, these homes may create social isolation as friends move away and may not be as conducive for daily physical activity as other housing options. Some multi story homes could be downright hazardous particularly for older adults at risk of falling. Make place core to your financial planning. Fortunately, as financial planning takes on greater significance, opportunities for help are increasing too. There are many online tools for do-it-yourselfers and more financial planners and wealth advisors are broadening their set of services to help people consider the various factors to optimize the chances of living a long, financially secure life. Whether you decide to map out a plan on your own or work with an advisor, you would be wise to make sure place is core to your financial planning. Determining where to live may be complex, but it may be the most important decision you'll make for each chapter of life. You just listened to the post titled, Place is Core to Financial Planning by Ryan Frederick of Here.Life and I'll be right back with my commentary. The Love Affair event is on at Whole Foods Market with deals on delicious desires through February 14th. The floral department's in full bloom, so look for savings on double dozen bunches of roses. In the meat and seafood departments, save on animal welfare certified New York strip steaks and sustainable wild-caught lobster tails to make the night sizzle. Gifts from the wellness and beauty department are always a nice touch. And you have to grab those chocolate-dipped strawberries. Make Whole Foods Market your Valentine's Day destination. Shipping can make or break a sale, so optimize how you ship your orders with ShipStation. They make it easy to automate and manage orders no matter how big your business grows. And they might even be able to help reduce shipping and warehouse costs. So optimize and keep up your momentum for growth with ShipStation. Sign up for your free 60-day trial now at ShipStation.com and use the code POD. That's ShipStation.com with the code POD. I said it a couple of days ago in my commentary, and I'll say it again today. Health and relationships are the most important things in life. I would first choose a place to live that is most beneficial for these two areas of life and then think creatively about how to make the finances work. The thing about money is that it's the only thing in life that you can completely mess up and have no long-term consequences. It's a completely dispassionate and impersonal tool. So when you sacrifice your health and relationships to prioritize a financial goal, it can be a dangerous game to play, especially if it's not necessary. If your circumstances are such that there really is no possible way to live near your loved ones, then you gotta do what you gotta do. Move somewhere affordable and have a season of life where you reestablish yourself in order to get where you want to be. But if you aren't destitute, I would caution you to think twice about prioritizing your finances over your health and relationships. You can always make more money or fix financial mistakes, but with your health and relationships, you can actually do irreparable damage. No one talks about how much money they saved on their deathbed, and your net worth isn't going to be carved into your tombstone. Find a living situation that makes sense financially but that optimizes for the most important things in life. And that'll do it for today. Have a great day and rest of your weekend. And I'll see you tomorrow as usual, where your optimal life awaits.